So this is my final day of the Arch Linux 10 day challenge and what a ride it has been probably the highest highs and the lowest lows of all but I'm about to get in that in a second. Arch Linux. Oh man. I, now I want to say this is video four. You're not crazy. I said five videos, but I have just been so swamped with trying to make uh, content for everything. And I just didn't have anything for the fourth video, that midway marker between five and 10, where I was just constantly around trying to make other videos. Um, but I didn't really have anything to make an Arch fourth video kind of a stop gap because I didn't want to just make a video to make a video if there's no substance. So uh, Arch, since I recovered the kernel from day five, you saw how upset I was on that, but to be expected. Um, it's been good. I mean, I still get the occasional lockup, which is probably from some package I installed sometime along the road. Uh, so I'm not going to fault it too much for it. As far as jumping to the next distribution, I don't know if I'm going to jump too soon on that one. I might hold off a little bit. I don't know how long, at least a week, uh, maybe longer depending on my queue. I wanted to get through a lot of the other ideas and tutorials that I was trying to get out uh, just for education content for Linux. Um, and then probably do another 10 day distro run. Uh, OpenSUSE is basically what I'm looking at just because I haven't done many videos or any videos in regards to it. And I'm curious about learning it and like the zipper package and some other things that are unique to OpenSUSE. But uh, before I do that, I wanted to make sure I get all this done. And if there's anything else that pops up in Arch, you might see another video sneak in here. Um, but I think this is going to be it for the final day in the evaluation of Arch because it's been five days and there really hasn't been anything else that's popped up that I'm like, oh, I, I need to tell you guys about that. I look on the Arch desktop and I'm just like, uh, hey, everything works. Everything's where I need it to be. Uh, the things that I have Arch for, and I'm, I will say this much, I'm keeping Arch in here probably for good. It's going to remain a bootable option for me probably forever just because it's so powerful. And when I want to do something or I want to try some crazy package, instead of having to build it or do anything like that, heck, I can just jump on there and AUR and just install it and go. Uh, so yeah, I'm going to break my install doing that too much, but um, it's so darn easy to do experiments on. And as long as you do like time shift or some kind of rollback where I can just, hey, I'll just restore the snapshot and be good. Uh, it's a great experimental system. Like as far as treating Arch like that, you can get the latest and greatest of pretty much anything very easily and very fast. So uh, that is my take on Arch. You know, out of this whole 10 days, you know, day one, video one, I went over the install and configuration, which a lot of people said it was very complex. Uh, coming from the server world and doing a lot of just build, building from terminal, unless you're scared of terminal that's not true if you're scared of terminal yeah it's probably going to look really daunting like you're hacking in the matrix or something but to someone that's seen the terminal and, and worked in it a little bit it's just another day it, all you're doing is reading the script for the most part and the thing about that install and configuration for the first video was you learn a lot about how linux is constructed you learn hey what are the steps of installing to make Linux work from the display renderer to uh, display manager to the actual desktop environment? And, and you see all the other packages that go into it. So Arch is great to learn on. It is fantastic for experimental and it's great for gaming and all these things that are going to be so big in Linux. So in the, in the second video, I kind of touched on the gaming and the drivers and stuff uh, because as far as the Linux experience goes, I'm able to do some crazy stuff in Arch. I'm able to make almost any game work uh, if you put in enough effort. It is awesome, um, which is great because on Ubuntu and stuff, I'm sure the same can be said. 
but uh, something about Arch, it just seemed a lot easier. Obviously, with the kernel in Ubuntu, I had to manually go ahead and upgrade the kernel. I, I couldn't just click update like I do in Arch. And uh, it was probably a little more unstable as far as the kernel goes, but uh, I don't know if that's true since I did have the crash on day five. So that's just kind of rounding out the Arch experience for me. Uh, you guys will hear me talk about Arch in the future. It will remain on my main system and at work, since I installed it on my work box there, it's going to probably remain for months uh, until I get around or have a slow dip where I can go ahead and put another distro on it, which I don't even know if I will. Um, because at the work computer, I'm pretty conservative. I didn't install a whole bunch of packages on it, and it works great. I haven't had any lockups or problems with that. Uh, so my lockups and everything are very isolated to my main system here, which you guys saw the NeoFetch is in other videos, is a Vega 64, a Ryzen 1700 with 16 gigs of memory. And I installed pretty much everything under the sun on this system. So... Uh, to say I had some issues, to be expected. Uh, but overall, I love Vanilla Arch. It's really good. I, it's not something I'd ever recommend a beginner go for. Uh, it's definitely meant for someone that understands a lot of the Linux concepts prior to jumping into it. Uh, but this is the final wrap up, the final Arch Linux video, unless some other thing pops up where I completely missed a section of Arch Linux. Uh, but I feel really good about it. It's it's a great distribution. I didn't understand a lot of the things uh, about Arch Linux prior to jumping into it, but many of these things I don't think I could comprehend until you actually live it and do it as your daily driver. So I learned so much, and I appreciate everyone's suggestion to actually try Arch Linux. So my next one, uh, like I said, will probably be OpenSUSE, but it's not going to be the immediate thing. I want to go ahead and jam out some of my tutorial content, and uh, then I'll probably go ahead and start another 10-day run. And uh, I just kind of want to breathe there from the holidays, and also uh, whenever I do these, I do switch it from my main daily driver to it, to where all my recording, everything is being done in Linux. So that's the big thing that I strive for every time. That way I get the true experience. Because if I was just dual booting or loading it in a VM, you just you just don't understand until it's physically on your system and you're using it and you're not just switching it over to something you're already familiar with. But this video has already run on too long. I just love talking about Arch and I love the distribution. And that's my conclusion. And yes, I had some issues, but that was on me. I, I kind of blame me for that. And that's just me learning about it and breaking it almost on purpose. Uh, it didn't happen a great time, but I did expect a crash or two. Um, and that's Arch Linux for me, and I'm out. This is it. Game over, man. Game over.